Okay, we're gonna do this skier's toe touch. I have a half foam roller here on the floor. This could easily be a two by four or anything else that would prop your toe and heel up. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna take one foot and I'm gonna prop my toe up. With the other foot, I'm gonna take a narrow stance so my feet are close together and I'm gonna prop my heel up. And some of you will already start to feel a little bit out of balance. I'm gonna put one hand in the small of my back and with the other hand, I'm gonna start by reaching up high and I'm gonna reach down to, to my near toe. Then when I'm at the bottom, I'm going to switch and move my other hand to the back and then go back up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna switch and then I come back up. Okay, that would be an example of one. And what you wanna do then is you wanna go ahead and switch after you've done the prescribed number of reps and switch your feet so that you know your opposite foot the one foot that was propped up is now propped down, and the one that was propped down is now propped up. And again, we're gonna take one hand in the small of our back, we're gonna reach down, we're gonna switch at the bottom, and we're gonna kind of go ahead and reach again to the ceiling, go down, switch hands, and we're gonna come back up. Now notice when I'm doing this, my hips, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm kind of keeping a soft knee, and that's intentional, so I'm not trying to lock everything out, I'm trying to do more of a hip hinge. Um, as I get through it. Now I showed one on each side, but you might have been told to do you know, five on each side, so just go ahead and perform that for the prescribed uh, number of repetitions. This is the skier's toe touch.